Welcome to a very special episode of the City Skylands podcast brought to you by Paradox Interactive and Sim Nation. My name is Pablo and we are here with Jan. Hi Jan. The aliens are back! Yes, we're back. And uh, today's episode is a very, a very special one because we get to talk about something that is really, really awesome. The release date, finally, of City Skylands. But also the release date tr announced trailer. Uh, that came out that is really good and we want to go through uh, all the scenes because there there is a little bit of information on each scene and um, also we want to go over the uh, Dev Diary, the last week Dev, Dev Diary which was uh, Infomaps, right? Yeah. And uh, oh before that, before we go into Infomaps, we also want to um, go through the system specs for PC and Mac and also Linux and sort of you can figure out if you can you know play the game or not or you should be getting a new computer so but you have some months to do that uh and also at the very end as always uh community threads that we find at the city skylines forums that we thought they were interesting and worth giving a look at so um how about we get started with yes the release date when is that happening yeah we got the release date which is a month from now um on the yes. 10th of march um with the release date we also got the price point um the pre-order price point that is um mm -hmm. the, you actually there are two different price points uh because of how they did it the first price point is at i already forgot um is at 29.99 dollars that is the basic game and then uh the deluxe edition is 39.99 uh -huh. which is actually quite okay i mean of a price 30... point for what we're getting i mean yeah uh, I mean, the price for this kind of game, I mean, I pay much more expensive games for, you know, and got less, so. Uh, yep. Yeah, this is uh, the Paradox store page that we're looking at right now, and... Um, it yeah. is also available on Steam. You can pre-order on Steam in both versions, uh, the basic version and the deluxe version. I can quickly tell you how much that is in euros, because I do have the website open. Okay. Um, that's twenty-seven ninety-nine for the standard pre-purchase edition and thirty-six ninety-nine for the deluxe edition. Um, thirty dollars. Gotta go crazy not to buy this at thirty dollars. <laughs> yeah. Um, and while we're talking about the pre-order editions, what do you get for the pre-order editions? Well, from the standard edition, mm -hmm. you get five custom items, which are a dog park, a bouncy castle, a merry-go-round, a basketball court, and botanical gardens, as well as digital postcards and concept art book. Um, all the additional stuff is digi digital. Um, so for the deluxe edition, you get the Art de Triomphe, uh, the Tour Eiffel, uh, Statue of Liberty, Brandenburg Gate, uh, Grand Central Station, the, the New York one, and uh, five, well, those are the five large custom items. And then you also get a graphic art book and a, uh, the soundtrack. Awesome. Which is amazing. Which, knowing Paradox Games, the soundtrack will be bloody amazing. It took me a while to get the, uh, the City Skylines page going, but uh, I, I guess it's kind of overloaded. But <laughs> I can now show the uh, standard and deluxe editions uh, items that come with. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah they're pretty nice. And uh, again, it's not really that expensive. I mean, most AAA games are like $60. And this is so much more than what you've been seeing so far in City Builder since the past 10 years. So, uh, what else Still cheaper than one of the city build builders that came out recently. Yeah, there's one that came out recently. I don't think I can We're talk about it, mention. but... <laughs> mm. But, yeah. Um, but, um, yeah, it, it's a decent low price point. It's something we've sort of learned to expect from Paradox. Mm -hmm. uh, some people were saying in the forums already, oh, you know, pre-order DLC, woohoo. Uh, I mean, you just have the standard and the deluxe edition. That's kind of... a a model that goes on with any yeah. it, game release you just, do have some works. bonus I mean, it helps it get it's, sales going yeah i mean it's not that it's, bad uh, yeah i mean plus it's not like paying 70 dollars for the deluxe edition either so you know yeah. it's not that bad it's pretty and much if you I, really like I, the I personally personally will pre-order it yeah 
Well, I, I mean, haven't. We're yet, gonna ha we're gonna cover it anyways. So I mean, if you have any doubts, you can wait for you know our review or whatever uh, because you know whatever, they're probably gonna kill me for saying that. But <laughs> you can uh, I mean uh, if you don't like to pre-order stuff, but uh, this game is like the best thing I think we're getting in so far in like the last ten years in city builders, uh, the deepest and richest and broadest simulation. So you know that. Yeah, uh, and if you're not quite sure, you can always look past the previous dev diaries to help you. Um, kind of make your mind up or watch pre our previous podcasts uh, there's a lovely dev diary series going on on the paradox extra channel as well uh and it just it, it might help you sway in a certain direction and if if you're still unsure just wait till the game is released there will be several videos out on the on the day of release talking yeah. about it i'm pretty, pretty sure yeah um and you're not gonna like die not to have those items maybe i mean if you were unsure of the purchase but anyway yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So cool. Right, well, should we move on? Yeah. Move on to the amazing system specs. Uh, no. No. Trailer first. Yes. Because I love the trailer. The, the, uh, trailer first. the, the new trailer was released, which did announce this release date, um, as well as the pre-order. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a really, really lovely trailer. Uh, those that you walk, watch the community sneak peek trailer, mm -hmm. um, before. And all the previous trailers, you would know they, they know like how to make good trailers. Yeah. Um, and this one is just as lovely as all the other ones, so... Yeah. Wanna watch it? Why don't we take a look? Alright, let's, let's take a look then. Yeah, with that with that little chirper. Chirper. Yes. Chirper, that's what we're calling that, it. That's the name, right? Game. Yeah. Yeah. Um but yeah, so uh back to the trailer. Um there are like many things I like to take a look at. Let, let's go ahead and go like step by step on that thing because it's just worth it. Um let's see, um where it's a gorgeous, gorgeous trailer, as we are used to with paradox trailers they are always always gorgeous um and well designed yeah um let's see like an example here uh where was that part um well i mean you can clearly see here the uh pedestrian um at 028 you can see the pedestrian um and there are like two kinds i would say there is like a wooden one and like uh uh, concrete kind of version of it and uh, just going around on top of the uh, the rails so they can cross it right which you would think like on other games they just I don't know they wait until no train comes in that's it but no you have to go and make that so uh, that, is, that is pretty cool maybe they can do it right if you don't build one but it's good it's cool that you get to do that uh, as part of the stuff you got sort of built. That you, that, you get, that you get these assets to create a pedestrian-only area, which is really fun. Um, we yeah. have these pedestrian-only areas in many cities in Europe. And it's just a really, really, really lovely thing to have. And just an option. Um, yeah. Then, um, then right next to it, you have the, uh, the dam with the, uh, the trucks going on top of it. And uh, that's where you had your little imagination realization moment i uh, i had a realization <laughs> when i was watching this trailer i was going you know we, we can put a road on top of a dam can we put trains on top of a dam 
I don't know. I want to know. I don't know if there's I an engineering reason why not, but uh, if it's possible, I guess it would be nice. <laughs> it's possible. I want it. And then right after that, we have another uh, another example of a pedestrian-only area, um, which is just lovely. I like yes. pedestrian and, uh, I and love, the game looks gorgeous. Yeah, it looks really good. I especially like if you pay attention to say, you know how you see the dam, then you see the next scene, right? Mm -hmm. And um, on that very same scene where you have the pedestrian path and all, you can see like the grass. Like you can see, there's like dirt around the roads, and then the grass starts. Like you can see, like there is that level of detail. I'm really saying it. Uh, you, you, if you take a look at it. Uh, it's not like it's just grass as a texture and then pff, just a road there. No, you can see the, like dirt having to be the thing right next to the road and then grass starts, right? And then grass e ends, dirt starts, then dirt ends, then pedestrian path starts. So you can see like all that level of detail on the on the flooring is there as well. Uh, I'm, I'm dead serious about this because I do care when there's like this level of detail on, on everything you see. Um, then there's a thing, however, uh, this, I, I want you to see this. At 038 in the video, there is, you can see the, the high-rise buildings on the back, right? The all glass high-rise buildings, right? Yeah. I, I don't know if that, that is the colossal order shape one, but uh, th I, I don't think know. It is. I, th that I building has i have an issue with it because it looks like i'm, I'm sorry but it looks like a, a tube with a window texture unlike any other building like oh don't, don't get, get alarm or anything it's not like the game is gonna look like crap or anything because you could you could just take a look at any other building and they're like fully detailed uh they have like bricks and then the windows <laughs> and the, the, the everything but that building it's just a tube with a glass texture i don't know what's happening there do you see that? <laughs> I do, I do. But you know, this is pre-release, Pablo. This is pre-release. Well, this, no, this, this is pre-order time. Trailer. This is. I'm still like. I get more picky now. <laughs> uh, I but, uh, I don't want to see you in two weeks when we're back here with another dead diary. Because <laughs> I, I I I'm paradox. You might just need to duck, hide. You know, batter down the hatches and prepare for the wrath of Pablo. If anything isn't perfect. Well, I get, I get, I get so perfection. Like, uh, you know what, what it is to work with me? Just going like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm calling you because there's that, that button is like one pixel to the left. We need to move it just one pixel to the right. That, that's all we need. Yeah, just one, not that button. Yeah, just one pixel. No, 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 no one pixel. Just one pixel. <laughs> but that, hey, that's, that's, that's my, my life. Uh, immediately after that, like at 039, um, you get to see like the, info view was it of i guess the bus where it stops where the root of it and so on which is something that they're inheriting from pretty much cities in motion too right and then you know yeah. they, they simplify that thing for city skylines because of course you don't want to have all the extra gameplay they're just going to make the game too complicated and too too much micromanagement but um it you can see like there's like a big circle uh where the uh, the bus is saying this is a bus stop you can see all the blue people saying these are the people who are gonna go, go in and then i see a green building right with oh yeah which is the metro oh that is that's what i was wondering i saw those green people inside i was like this is killing me there is a metro and i didn't know it that's a metro pablo damn you can see the metro right there man where, Keep where with do the I times. sign? Where do I sign? <laughs> Give me. Yes. Can I pre-order three of them? <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> yes, you can. I will allow you to pre-order me one. <laughs> I mean, it, since it's so cheap, I'll pre-order two. And then now, just you know, we can make a giveaway. I guess. <sighs> Maybe we, can. we should. Okay. Maybe. And. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, and immediately after, like the next scene, you can see the the roof on um the houses they have like like a table with chairs and the little plants and the little antenna it's just insane <laughs> no, <laughs> the, 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 there's a lot of detail you do have you then you have the roofs which have i guess they're solar collectors it's just there's a there's a bit there's quite a bit of variety in 
the buildings. I mean, yeah. we do see some buildings which repeat themselves, but you do see that in real life where um, when you have investors build complexes, they will purchase a set of plots and just build kind of a same design of buildings. Yeah, and that that's, that's, that, that happens, especially it happens a lot in New York. Yes, um, which is you yeah. know it's still f- fine. It's lovely. It doesn't look. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, uh, I would love to see more variety. I'll be honest, but uh, I I love what I see already. I much rather have more repetitive but more detailed buildings than just very different crappy looking ones. Because then I'd be like, the whole city looks like crap. <laughs> Instead, this way it's just much better. Because at least every time I look at it, I say, well, that's a beautiful building. I'm just gonna stare at it. Yeah. While the whole city is collapsing, I'll be admiring that antenna right there on the top of that building. Um, <laughs> and uh, the city feels alive. I, I like to say that. Like, even when you see, like, that little neighborhood where there's just, like, one bus going by, it feels, like, alive for some reason. That is good. That is important. Yeah, it, it fe- feels vibrant. It feels... Now. Yeah. They, they, it they, look, they it looks... That. Hmm? No, they, they said on a dip diary, um, there is no smoke on the factories, but we just added that. And now on this video, we can see that, yes, they have smoke. <laughs> yeah, the factories now have smoke, That's which important. someone was ranting about on one of the streams, like there's no tomorrow. Yeah. Why is there no smoke on the factories? The factories should have smoke. Why? Why? I want smoke. <laughs> well, now you have smoke. <laughs> Do you smoke now? I wouldn't ever do that. <laughs> um, and let's see what else. Um, then uh, if the wind power plant uh, shot a little bit after. Um, I see they light. They turn like blue. I don't mm, know what yeah. that means. It is from uh, what I gather from the infographics is the power infographic. So this would be like power source that's what blue means right this generates yeah power. It, it, it power building oh i would go with yellow like orange yellow for power but it's all right they went blue they which went is blue. something we'll talk about in a few minutes in okay. the depth diary the depth diary info maps so yeah but anyway, way this, this is technically like a slightly longer episode so i mean if you want like coffee popcorn whatever like we're just celebrating we know the game is going to come out so you know just just chill you know enjoy it we're with excited us. Yeah. We're excited. The aliens are excited. We are we have we have feelings, okay? I I've been out I'm okay with being called an alien. You get to see the size of how much you can build and that's probably not the limit on uh, the shot with the aeroplane on top. Yeah, we 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 see a few shots of kind of from the top of the city and you can kind of see the size like it it feels big it feels vibrant it feels like the city is there and you know i one of my favorite scenes in the trailer is when the text pop, pops up and says mod it <laughs> <laughs> yeah mod it there we go and uh yeah you can see the terrain editor which i would like to to say i do like the icons on the bottom i like them I still don't like Finally, the black something Pablo likes. Yeah, I don't like the black bar and the, the control on the bottom left. But the icons there, they're juicy. I like them. I want to click them. Those are good. Then the brush size and all that, I don't not that much. But it looks kind of like I don't know a little bit Citizen Excel, if you may. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but it's still better. Nothing can get that. Sorry, Pablo, we do not say the name of that shitty game. <laughs> uh, our yeah, opinions and right ours after that, do not represent of paradox in any way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then after that, we get a view of the park creator. Uh huh. Now they tease this as a screenshot uh, on their Facebook page a few days ago, um, and we see it just a little bit in action, just a little bit, not too much, but just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's a really interesting tool for creating of pa- for park creation. Now I'm not sure if this is a separate part like you have to go into the main menu and click park creator or if you can do this in game i hope you can do this while you're playing the city hmm. um, I, I think but not but i wish <laughs> i think not but yeah i mean it's a nice wish however i like to uh point down to well you can see all the different kind of objects you can put at the um at the bottom of the screen you can you can take a look at that uh but also 
on the right side you get to see the properties you can see the size is set to 12 by 8 construction cost fire hazard fire tolerance so i guess the chance of getting you know caught on fire by a nearby building uh garbage accumulation maintenance cost and then you see electricity tourist and water tabs that are closed um entertainment accumulation entertainment radius it is kind of hardcore the way they put it there it's not accessible but it's still awesome that you get to just set everything about it it's like well we use this tool to make all of them so now you get to use it as well that's insane or, awesome. or 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 what if that is pre-generated for you uh automatically calculated by what the trees based on what on. you put in the park that could be possible maybe yes not maybe uh, we don't know i think but not. i that i had that idea after yeah. we've seen this and talked about it on a regular podcast and i thought what if those are just pre-generated for you based on the f what you put in the park and the size of it and then thought, well it seems slightly logical that it would be that way not that you would be able to modify all of these i don't know yeah we would agree that a, a park with only trees shouldn't consume all the power of the city to run but um i guess yeah we would have to uh see exactly how that goes but yeah um we'll anyways we'll as soon as we get our hands on it and i see on the top it says 63 out of 64 trees slash props used so i guess you have a, a props budget you can use you can see um yes Okay, so that makes sense. So you can't make an extremely complex park that just kills the graphic card when somebody zooms in. So I guess that's okay. Um, or it's a combination of... Size and... Of you used 63, 63 trees and used 64 props. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, the total of stuff that you used. I don't know if it's based yeah. on, sh on size. Maybe the budget increases with size, but... That's probably for optimization reasons. But we want to build a central park. Yes, I want to build a Golden Gate Park. He wants to build a central park, but I want to get the yes. Golden Gate Park. Because I never got to fully explore it. I didn't have time. I went twice. I couldn't finish. Um, but anyway, and uh, but yeah, at the very end, you just get like a zoom out with all the info maps. But we, we can get about around that later. Uh, yeah. And then just see the skylines out March 10. Buy it now. What are you waiting for? actually don't go yet well, you just keep, keep watching this remember to buy it later so yes um that's pretty much it and uh with it they also announced yes um i mean the system specs um uh, so you know you can start to tell if you can run it or not and uh luckily i can <laughs> on one of your computers and one of the one i use anyway so it's all right but yeah i was kind of scared i'm covered as well good so yeah let's let's go around it let's start with uh let's go around the um the uh, system specs for pc mac and linux and we'll tell you if you can run it or not depending on what you have so um it's gonna be like kind of Shall we go off with pc oh I, start off with I PC. exploded you exploded there we go i'm back baby all right pablo so. exploded <laughs> so uh yeah uh, system uh let's get us off yeah, with the PC. Um, you basically can run the game from XP, Windows XP onwards. Mm -hmm. But you do need a 64-bit version of XP, it. So right. if you have Windows XP, you need 64-bit Windows XP. It's same with Vista 7, 8, and 8.1. Mm -hmm. um, the, pro the, minim uh, the minimum one for the processor is an Intel Core 2 Duo um, with the minimum of 3 GHz. Um, processing speed which those that would kind of be late 2009 2010 processors so that might be good you might need a graphics update because graphics cards do require a minimum of uh 512 megabyte megabytes of ram so you might need an upgrade in that department and you do need mm -hmm. four gigs of ram uh because the game is quite heavy on the ram side um of course the recommended settings are a bit higher they do recommend windows 7 is the minimum version of windows again 64 bit um an i5 processor um mm -hmm. the 3470 which is 
the first generation of i5 uh, processors, I think. Oh, yeah? Um, so I you could say that if you have an i5, you're fine? Yeah, I think. Don't take my word. I think, all right. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> uh, I forgot to Google it. Um, again, 6 gigs of RAM. Uh, the, and a recommended graphic, graphics card with 2 gigs of uh, graphics RAM. Mm-hmm. And I do believe, but it doesn't say that this must be DX11. I, th- I think so. <laughs> Don't use PC. Sorry. <laughs> I think. Well, it yeah, has to uh, run. Yeah, if it's it DX11. Runs on it XP, says a lot. It's. If it runs on Windows XP, Windows XP goes up to 10, I think. It says DX11 on the... Um, Recommended? Steam page. Okay. Well, maybe it uses 11, but it can run 10. I mean, Windows XP doesn't have direct, DirectX. True. To 11, so... That is true. Yeah. Maybe it just won't run as well, or it won't look as beautiful, you know? You'll just it's won't have all on the Unity. Shit Unity supports a lot of things, so yeah. Yeah. Okay, that is pretty much for the PC Windows requirements. Now for the Mac, I, I get to say a little bit more there. So uh, uh, basically, they're recommending you have the last operating system. Uh, that is, instead of just the previous previous one was uh, Maverick. So from Mac OS 10 Mavericks onwards, um, 64 bit, but there I, I, there is no 30, 32 bit. Yeah. So you're gonna be fine there. Uh, processor Intel Core 2 Duo as a minimum required 3 g- gigahertz. That's quite steep. And um, AMD Athlon. I am not sure which ones come with AMD on on the Mac. Maybe the Mac Pro. No, that that is Intel. Uh, no, the IMAX came with uh, AMD. Oh, before, right? Right, there was a moment they switched to AMD, then they came back to Intel, all right. So, um, and the graphic card, uh, minimum required is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 260 uh, with uh, 512 megabytes of RAM uh, on the graphic card, four gigabyte of RAM on the whole system. Now, I'll get back to you on what this means, all right, just a second. And um, as for the recommended, well, operating system remains the same, but the processor should be an Intel Core i5 and um, six gigabyte of RAM, if possible, as a recommended value. Uh, you can have less than it, it can still run. And a uh, graphic card, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 660. Now, to put that into perspective, I was just checking before, and uh, an example, I have here a 2008 MacBook Pro, right? This bad boy right here. This can't run it. All right, if you have a 2008 MacBook Pro, it won't run the game. It's seven years old. It can't run it. Now, however, if you have uh, a 2011 iMac, you can run it. This is the 2011 iMac. You can you can know it's that one because it's thick on the side. It has a CD or DVD drive on it. You will tell because you can put in DVD drives. That's how you're gonna tell. It's a 2011 iMac. Um, that that will be pretty much the minimum uh, on which you can play the game. And then if you have the 2012 iMac, which you can tell by it's being super thin and no CD, DVD, ROM, anything like that anymore. Um, this one runs the game on the recommended settings. And I guess if you have the 5K Retina display iMac, then you are just beyond that so don't worry about it you're gonna be fine and we hate you kind of a little bit but <laughs> just a little bit <laughs> just a little bit and um but yeah so uh that that sort of puts it into perspective if you have an iMac that is older than 2011 you're not gonna run it all right it's no wait no yeah. i think not if- because if it's the, older than 2000, 2011 is the first generation that is able to run it. Yes. Also, I quickly check the i5 uh, 3470 is the third generation of i5s uh, and they run on Ivy Bridge um, platform. Can oh, you? I see. So third generation. All right. And I, uh, I forgot to check when they came out. Okay. Uh, 2012. 2012. All right. So you buy your computer before 2012. Take a look. 
if you bought it past 2012, chances are you're gonna run the game, whatever you have PC or Mac or whatever. And uh, or you wait yeah. till the day of release. I'll be tweeting it out. If I can run it, mine is a first generation i5. If I can run it, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'm happy that I actually get to get to run it. This is this is my uh, take a look. But uh, yeah, so um, I'm gonna put it right here. This this runs it. All right. And uh, there, there's also Linux requirements. I love they are making a, a three-way platform release, which is really hard to do. Many people don't know this, but it's really hard. And uh, they're, they're just putting out uh, for PC, Windows, uh, sorry, Windows, uh, Mac, and Linux. And on Linux, they require you to use well, pretty much just Ubuntu. That's the one they're trying it on. And uh, probably because that's where Unity exports to make sure it's for Ubuntu. Uh, pretty much the same you know, processor requirements that you saw before. Nothing new, you can see it here. It's also on our webpage if you want to go more into details. Uh, but yeah, if you don't have Ubuntu, not sure how that works, you're gonna have to dig in uh, and see if you can make it work. You should be able to, but they're just, you know, um, supporting Ubuntu because, you know, they're, they're like 300 Ubuntu distros. You can do it for all of them. I know some are more popular, but you know, Ubuntu is the most yeah, popular they actually, one. They, so. actually, they actually support four different versions of it. Yeah. So they support Mubu, uh, Mubuntu 4.04, Ubuntu 4.10, uh, Ubuntu 12.04, and Ubuntu 14.04. Yeah, and I, I think these are the uh, long-term support uh, versions. Um, yeah. I think so. So down to Ubuntu 12, pretty much. So which is... Um, to well, it came out on uh, January, February, March, April. Sorry, it's in English. Uh, April 2012. So you know, but why wouldn't you have the latest version? Also, 64 bit only. So that is yeah, pretty much it for the uh, system specs and all. Uh, if you are unsure, you can leave a comment in the comment section below, and of course, we can take a look at what you have and tell you if you don't know for yourself. Just make sure you put you know, operating system, processor, RAM, and graphic card. So, yeah, we can tell. Uh, but yes, that would be pretty much it for that. And, um, hmm, my glass is half full, half empty. But I'll never know which one. And I'll say how it's half full. And uh, <laughs> literally, I'll just keep drinking think, until the think, problem I is think gone. after this news we got today about the release date and the price point and the system specs, it's half full. I'll put it that way. I was just talking about my glass, but yes. <laughs> I'm Pablo. <laughs> today is a good day. Yes, today is a great day. And um, by the way, tomorrow we kind of forget about that. No, tomorrow. Well, yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it. <laughs> it's the City Skyline stream, uh, and um, it's at two. PM GMT. Missing everything. Uh, the City Skyline stream from ParadoxCon, which is going on this week. Um, yes. It is tomorrow. It's uh, the stream is at uh, fifteen hundred hours CEST. CEST because we're also going to use twenty four hour clock. That's at two PM GMT, um, eight AM Eastern, and six AM Pacific. Awesome. So if you're in US S Pacific, you set the alarm clock. Yeah. Or watch the watch it on demand after yeah the, the video will be up and there will be highlights on the paradox extra channel as i've noticed there are from every stream yep back to regular stuff uh, we had a last dev diary last week uh which we are going to talk about mm -hmm. um i kind of want to go through it quickly because it's not a lot of information but it's a lot of in sort of interesting information yeah and it's literally about that information uh the dev diary is about info views that you get in game mm -hmm. um and they kind of split them in the dev diary in three different sections so city service citizen and city and map related which is okay um and that's that's basically what it is it's just a bunch of pictures showing these off um we get the electricity one uh which shows consumption demand um, and which buildings are powered, which buildings are not unpowered. It shows you the buildings which produce power. It shows you the grid and the catchment area around the buildings, which is really important to know. Ah, right. Right, you mm. can see how far it goes without needing a power line. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Pablo is clapping. Yes, I clapped. Uh, we all, there's also, again, the same for water. Uh, demand, production, what is what has water, what doesn't have water, the catchment area. Um, and the flow of water. Which way the water flows. Which is important in this game. And it shows the pipes, of course. Yeah, because that, this is pretty much like water and sewage on the same thing. Um, I think sewage is separate. I'm not sure. No, this this period says uh, water availability and sewage treatment. And then you see water, sewage facilities. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, it's all there. Yeah, it does. Sorry. Um, but there, are, are they, they're not separate pipes. No. It's like it goes in and it better goes in clean and then it goes out dirty to the river. No, 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 no. You place both pipes at the same time, but they're two different pipes. Oh, there are two different pipes, okay. Water pipe and the switch pipe. I mean, I know in and real life uh, it does, but I don't uh, know how the simulation They flow parallel it. to each other. Right. That, that makes sense. If you have water, you Just need switch. Weird gangster shit. Uh, Yo, you want switch? <laughs> yeah. Better be clean. But yeah, but yeah from, from what I can see, it's two different pipes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then we have garbage. Again, That's garbage. garbage. Uh, garbage. That's where the garbage. Easter egg is, right? That's what the Easter egg is. If you don't see the Easter egg, shame on you. Uh, no. So what is that just, exactly? It is a building shaped as the Colossal Order logo. The, the previous one. That, that's the that's the Easter egg. Yeah, the previous icon. I mean, the previous logo. Now it's a. Uh, what? The, the previous logo. Now it just says C O. Oh yeah, the yeah. old one. Anyways. And uh, so yeah, that's basically garbage. It shows if the roads are green, that don't means that wait about it. that means that uh, there's garbage truck coverage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the um, the garbage system doesn't have an area of effect like a circle. Like this is the area we cover. Yeah, but it's it's it based on roads. Go and pick and yeah, yeah. like cool. we do in real life. Then we have fire safety. If a building has chances of catching on for fire. Me, for me, this, this info view has always been, or data later, however you call it, has always been so abstract, like fire safety. If it catches on fire, somebody will go, but I don't think we can reduce it. <laughs> if we'll catch, we'll yeah. catch. But yeah. Yeah, but you know, the better fire coverage, it means that you have fire marshals, which check buildings against for fire safety. That's and you know, it's... There's complex, some, Pablo, complex. Yeah, there's some passive effect to uh, fire stations. Yeah. Yeah. What else do we have? What we else? have we have crime. Hmm. <laughs> we don't that, have that that's in pre- here. That's a pretty standard one. Crime. Yeah. It shows police buildings and yeah. the chance of something having crime. Pretty much. We'll carry on. Then we have school coverage. Mm, there are different ones for... Uh, elementary and high school and I'm guessing there's another one for university University. Uh, let me quickly look yeah there is Uh, so we have elementary high school and university coverage and And you have tabs in the education info view it's interesting it tells you they're separate yeah it tells you the university alone in the city won't just do everything I know progression. It's weird. Who would have thought that you would have right. progression? And who would have thought that kids would need to go to separate buildings than adults? I don't know where I they know. get these it's ideas. They're bright. Just, I've never heard of such a thing. Yes. I went to university when I was five, yeah. and now I'm going to elementary. <laughs> <laughs> but it has a nice, you know. Oh, this is your capacity. This mm-hmm. is how many people are eligible. And then you have breakdown of how many are educated, uh, uneducated, highly educated, well educated, and uh, super educated. Ooh, that sounds like <laughs> something I want to have in my city. So super educated. Unless they go like, we're too smart. We know you're screwing us up. Uh, I'm going to remove the so school. <laughs> you're too then we have healthcare. Down. Again, the same as police. Uh-huh. Except it has two tabs, which Ooh. is weird. It I never seen this in game. And death care. Go figure. I don't know what death care does. Does it mean that oh, this is covered so that they take away the dead? Oh yeah. Or uh, 
Cemetery or usage this... crematorium availability. Oh yeah. You, you actually have just... to deal with it. I don't even know if I want to deal, I'll be honest with you, I don't want to deal with this in my city, but okay, I will. But it's like a topic I really don't want to touch in my city, to be honest. <gasps> I came he I come here, games, to sort of not talk about that. <laughs> not talk about that. Right. Death is except, a part except of when life. I play first person I mean, shooters and I'm I mean, like, Kill them. you can't just have you can't just have, you know, pensioners living forever. <laughs> yes. And but draining I mean, your resources. I guess it makes sense you sort of make the full life cycle since you're here. Um yes. Okay, so that is that. good. What else? Well, the public transport, we kind of talked a little bit about public transport. It yeah, shows... I see the, the beautiful tab there with just a bunch of colors. I like that. Colors, depending on uh, which transport it is. So, what's this? Uh, I, I think it's bus, train, bus, metro, train, ferry, so, and and plane. Yeah, I, I, I was cheating. I was looking at the legend uh, below. Um Oh, yeah, there's a legend. <laughs> yeah, <Shit>. I was cheating. <laughs> I am blind today. I've done... Uh, it's all right. Um, but, but yeah, yeah no, uh, this is, one also cool. shows, just quickly, it shows... Um, it shows sort of the districts. So if you look, it says financial district and then shows you the icons of what is active and isn't active in mm -hmm. that district. Yeah. And this is long. I know there's so many things. There's so many, and this podcast is really, really long already. We're gonna have to like, let's just, let's just snap, go. Snap, snap, snap. We have citizen ones, happiness standard. Yeah, standard. and they're separate by residential, uh, commercial, zone. office, and industrial. Yeah, then we have traffic. Traffic is always important. Busy roads, unbusy roads. That's all it means. Oh yeah. And then oh, population. Like, like the, the, and then yeah, population. The age of population. I think uh -huh. that one. Yeah. yeah, that is good. That is good. And where they live. Then we have city related. And we have oh, wait, wait. Uh, Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm extremely sorry, but I need to go back to this. This is something that I saw in SimCity 4 that nobody else wanted to implement. And now this is here and way better because it says 200 births a week, 380 deaths a week. You have so a you see that you have, you have a, a dying die. population. Right, and that is something that you could have sort of in SimCity 4. You, you could see the graphs and so on. I don't know how deeply it was simulated there, but now all those people are actually dying every week. This is happening. They exist yeah. somewhere. And your so, population will de decay I guess it up could until happen. the point you are out of senior, and then the population, and then it will stabilize again. Right. It's 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 a very detailed demographic simulation which happens in real life, and it's something that is monitored in cities um, because of taxes yeah. and money. All right, yeah. Sorry, let's move. Carry on. City and map related. We have outside connections info viewed in three categories: import, export, tourism. Mm -hmm. And they highlight vehicles that do each of these. Yes, makes sense. And the attractiveness of, um, well, tourist attractions and tourist visit thingies. Yeah. Then Next. we have a business one again. It, it, it shows businesses and what production is where and what produces what. Oh, did I go too far? Uh, there we go. Uh, land value is the next one. Land value. Uh, land value is important about where your citizens live. So mm -hmm. young adults with families will like to live in higher land value areas. Uh, mm -hmm. Then, for example, senior seniors don't mind it that much. Right. Or adults with families don't mind it that much. Uh, ground pollution, which is uh, land and water pollution in the same info view. Mm hmm. Right. It, it just does, does if, does if you it have ground pollution it will traduce to water pollution pretty much yeah and it affects land value right naturally and where people want to live Ooh, this is new. noise pollution which this one noise pollution good. noise pollution traffic industry and commercial zones and tourist attractions and unique buildings cause noise pollution Small roads make less noise pollution. Large roads make more noise pollution. If you have roads with decorative trees, those make less noise pollution than ones without them. And you can put those... If there's too much noise pollution, people will not like living in that area and the land value decreases. Yeah. And you can do and many things to fight it. That is interesting. It's not yeah. just there. So yeah. Wind. 
wind, it shows where it's best to harvest wind for electricity. Makes sense. That's all it is. What is the next is one? Natural wind resources. Direction? There's no wind direction. No. Okay. It so, just shows the strength of so wind. So air pollution is more like just just a bubble? Instead of I like don't a know. Trail? Do we have air pollution? I don't really know. Do we? I don't. I, I haven't I seen think, the no, info. I, I think. We, oh, there's no air pollution. It just goes oh. to the black hole in the sky. It's just a black hole. I'm black. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's then really we have resources. natural resources. That's what it does. It shows you natural resources. Yeah. Or, or forest and fertile land. Fertile which... land. And it shows you how much of it there's available. So, for example, you have these many units of oil, these many units of ore, this many units a week of forest, and this area, this size of area of fertile land. Right. Which is good to know. Districts. Yes. I mentioned this before. It shows districts, name of district, what is active in that district. Yes. And the outline. And the outline of the district. Indeed. And then there's just an extra screenshot. An extra. Of a small business district surrounded by a park. That looks beautiful, let me add. Yep. Yeah. All right. And that was uh, pretty much it for the info views Dev Diary number nine. Uh, they came out last week, City Skylines. And I, that, need, that a, I much, need a breather now. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take over for a sec. Uh, so <laughs> uh, good job there. Um, you know, <laughs> like giving birth. So, yeah, um, it is good to see it's all there. Right, um, some info views that we never seen before, and uh, it makes sense to have them here. Uh, it if makes sense if you are a nerd them. about information, this is heaven. Yes, because this tells you everything in extreme amount shows of detail. You so yeah, um, we can. Uh, you want to do community uh, topics very quickly? We can do one community topic. All right, since we're running a little bit late. Okay, and you me to do which mine? Topic. Whichever. All right, I'll, I'll go ahead. You can, you can rest. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, so basically we like to take a look at the forums and see what's there. Although, you know, this episode was really long, so we don't want to take more of your time. So there was a thread that, I, that sort of got my attention. And uh, it's called City Skyline. Although it's Skylines. Too easy. And, uh, well, the reasoning behind is that it looks uh, easy because Cities in Motion 2 had a lot of complexity on the traffic and, sorry, the uh, mass transit handling of it, right? And, of course, it has been simplified for Cities uh, Skylines. And you would think, well, why would you remove features, right, if you could just leave them there and then build on top of that? It's the same engine, the same base. Why would you do that? And um, well, the truth is that if the more complexity you add to a game, the harder it is to learn it, the more inaccessible it is. And then it's just a whole overload of what you have to do every minute per minute to keep up with the game, right? So, the, I mean, you could micromanage even like, just have to knock on each one's door so they go to work, but that would make it so hard that you would never be able to scale the, the city. It would just be impossible. So some things need to get automated so you can do more things, right? So, you know, if you Plus, want to still- there's the thing of Cities in Motion 2 is focused on public transport. Yeah. That is the focus of the game. However, this is city focus. Yeah. You didn't do anything almost zero to cities in cities in motion. You might build you might have built roads because you needed additional roads to make stuff or make connections, but you didn't build the city. You build the public transport for a pre pre existing city. The city did grow um and develop, but it you didn't influence it directly. You didn't say, I want this here and this here and this here and this here. While this is city focused, that's why the public transport side of it is shrunk down. Hmm. Maybe sometime in the future, if you want that, it could be either modded in or there will be a DS DLC for it or, you know, some sort of connection. But this is primarily a city building game, yeah. not a public transport micromanagement game. 
Yeah. And it would just be too much. And you would some spend, people are saying like, because what, if, what if they make it optional, right? But yeah. the reality is that, um, I mean, um, I mean, even if you do that, the um, it's just technically too complicated and complex to have like an automated version and a manual version because there's so, just so many things that they gave for granted because you don't have to handle them that then they have to reincorporate into the game but differently because you need to still be able to manage the city and so on so yeah it kind of gets goes too crazy too far but i don't think like besides that besides that that special focus on the tra mass transit area i don't think the game is easy in fact i think it's gonna be one of the hardest city builders because there's so much complexity to it it just we just need to see how they handle that complexity through the ui the gameplay and so on but um i i don't think it's gonna be easy and if you're looking for a challenge this game's gonna give it to you like the more challenge you you want you you can just make the city bigger right or stranger and you're gonna get to that level of difficulty if you really want it so i think you're also mods uh totally also move mods. yeah said there could be a mod setting that makes citizens tolerate very low levels of pollution or traffic congestion before they complain and move out right. and that would make it a lot harder um really. so you know th there is always that possibility yeah um also so we'll, we'll, we'll see what you consider the goal is because i mean in, those, in these games usually you don't have a set goal uh so if for you your goal is to have like a perfect utopian city that's going to be even like almost impossible or ridiculous hard but if you just want things to barely work even if people complain that's going to be easy <laughs> so you know yeah you, uh, it's, you can always set yourself challenges as well yeah like i want to build a city that is a hundred percent self-sustaining go yeah, good good luck. But <laughs> I, I like what Terry Moore says about the uh, the mod. Yeah, yeah. You can just mod mod the way to difficultiness. So uh, yeah. yeah, fifty minutes, guys. This is the longest episode we <sighs> ever had. But hey, it was fun. We today we celebrate. We know when the game is gonna come out, which is pretty much in a month, exactly a month from now. So uh, and hey, look at the positive side. February is the shortest month. In the year so it's technically like two days less than it could be so <laughs> that was good come on and uh well yeah that, that has been all for this episode again all opinions are ours do not represent paradox in any way if you want to see more about paradox games go ahead and click the paradox extra channel link in the description below if you're watching this on the simulation side and if you're looking uh, watching this on the uh, paradox extra side make sure you check out simulation for more simulation goodies um, again, uh, Simulation TV, you can, you can just find the, um, the link in the description below. Sorry, I need, I need a little break. And uh, yeah, that has been all for this week. My name is Pablo. That has been Jan right there, the guy in yellow. I'm yellow. Oh, yeah. I'm <laughs> yes. the color one. I wear colors. I use colors too. Yeah, this, is, gray. This, is, this is space gray. I Fifty Shades of Grey, Pablo. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey. I just have like grey. And uh, yeah, don't forget to um, pre-order if that is your thing. You can find the links in the description below or at the end of the video. And we'll see you next time. Oh, this is the most satisfying thing ever. We are God in SimCity 4. Wow, that was loud. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna eat that, huh? You're gonna eat it. I see. What? Nothing. Okay. And now she is tossing that salad with her... Stop sticking your finger in your ear! Alright, she's tossing the salad with her earwax. It does. Yeah. It does. It does it really well. Okay. Oh, they're coming for you, Pablo! I, shit, Run! Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. These road trips, man, are killing me. Anyway, let me know whenever we are recording. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Extended Play. I'm your host, this is Stuart, and that is a fancy, fancy sign. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.